Welcome to the Lakers News Today channel. Take the opportunity to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go to today's news. What a roller coaster this season has been, hasn't it? From the beginning, it was a tumultuous journey. We started with a new coach, a team in transition, and a series of challenges. However, despite the difficulties, I saw an incredible effort from the players and coach fighting to keep their heads above water. Then came the turning point and suddenly we felt an influx of optimism. The Lakers were flying, it looked like we were headed straight for glory. But then, as if in the blink of an eye, things began to fall apart. A bad run of injuries and we suddenly found ourselves struggling to find our rhythm again. Talking about the manager, Darren Ham, I think it's fair to say he has faced his own challenges. He had to deal with an ever-changing team, trying to find the right combinations, while also navigating fan and organizational expectations. There were moments when he seemed to be adjusting, trying to figure out what worked best for the team, but also moments of frustration, where rotation decisions and player utilization left many of us perplexed. For example, the way Ru Hakima has been used has been a source of consternation for many of us. He is clearly a talented player, with versatile skills that could be exploited more effectively. And we can't ignore Spencer Dwyer, a player with potential who doesn't seem to have found his place in the game plan. Now, with news about a possible change in technical command, it's time to reflect. Could this be the turnaround we need? With seven games remaining in the regular season, it's a bold decision. But as fans, we're used to boldness, aren't we? So what do you guys think? Do you believe this change could be the catalyst that takes the Lakers to new heights in the playoffs? Are you excited to see how the team will come together under new leadership? Let's share our opinions and hopes, because at the end of the day, we are all part of this journey. LeBron James may be 39 years old, but his performance this season makes him look like a kid. Despite the gray streaks in his beard, he remains in impressive physical shape. Averaging 25.4 points, 8.1 assists and 7.3 rebounds per game so far, he shows no signs of slowing down, even with a considerable load of minutes on the court. Last season raised some concerns about LeBron's aging, especially after a foot injury sidelined him for a month. However, this year, he is demonstrating remarkable efficiency, with a significant increase in his field goal percentage hitting 53.3% overall and 41.6% from three-point range, compared to 32.1% last season. He attributes this improvement to the fact that his foot injury is largely healed, allowing him to dedicate more time to throwing training. In the recent matchup against the Brooklyn Nets, LeBron shined even brighter, scoring 17 of his 40 points in the fourth quarter, and hitting an impressive 9 of 10 three-point shots on the night. His electrifying performance not only secured the Lakers' 116-104 victory, but also earned the admiration of the opposing fans at Barclays Center. With LeBron leading the way masterfully, it's easy to understand why fans continue to believe in him and his ability to elevate the Lakers to new heights this season. And you fans, what do you think of LeBron's performance and his chances of continued success? The information brought by Shams Charania from the Athletic and Stadium, about LeBron James' future in the NBA is quite revealing. It appears the Los Angeles Lakers star is aware that his career is coming to an end, but still plans to play another season or two in the league. At 39 years old, LeBron is the oldest player in the NBA and has been a central figure in the league since his debut in the 2003-2004 season. LeBron will have the option to become an unrestricted free agent this summer if he chooses not to exercise his player option for the 2024-25 season with the Lakers. He recognizes that he is on the other side of the hill in his career and does not plan to play for another 21 years, as he humorously stated. However, he has not yet defined exactly when he will retire. One of LeBron's motivations to continue playing is the possibility of sharing the court with his son. Bronny James, in the NBA. To date, no parent has had this opportunity in the league. Bronny, who currently plays for USC, could enter the 2024 NBA draft. His stats this season show his potential, with averages of 4.8 points, 2.8 rebounds, and 2.1 assists. 
so it appears that LeBron is determined to make the most of the time he has left in the NBA, while also keeping an eye on the future and the exciting possibility of playing alongside his son. This story will certainly continue to be closely followed by NBA fans. What do you think of LeBron's plan to play a few more seasons and potentially share the court with his son? With the play-in scenario approaching, the Los Angeles Lakers are certainly evaluating their options and preferences regarding potential opponents. Each team presents unique challenges and important considerations for the Lakers. The Houston Rockets appear to be an unknown quantity due to their youth and recent success. Although they are a team on the rise, their lack of experience in high-pressure games could be seen as an advantage for the Lakers. The Golden State Warriors, with Steph Curry leading the way, have a championship pedigree that commands respect. However, the Lakers can look beyond the nostalgia and focus on the current challenges facing the Warriors, which could level the playing field. The Sacramento Kings, despite showing signs of promise, were hampered by injuries at crucial moments. These injuries could make them a more accessible target for the Lakers in the play-in, although no one wants to see a team hampered by health concerns. Finally, the Phoenix Suns, with stars like Devin Booker and Chris Paul, could look like a formidable threat. However, the team's struggles with injuries, chemistry and bench depth could cause the Lakers to view this opportunity as a chance to advance into the play-in playoffs. Overall, each team has its own strengths and weaknesses, and the Lakers' decision on which opponent they prefer to face in the play-in will depend on a number of factors, including current form, injuries and game strategy. Whatever the opponent, the Lakers will be prepared to face the challenge and fight for victory. And do you, fans, have any preferences regarding the Lakers' play-in opponent? In addition to considerations about possible opponents, the Los Angeles Lakers may also be taking into account the team's own momentum. They may prefer to face an opponent who better aligns with their current play style or who has specific vulnerabilities they can exploit. Furthermore, the experience of Lakers players in high-pressure games, such as LeBron James and Anthony Davis, may influence their preference for the opponent. They may feel more confident facing a team that is less experienced or has less of a track record of success in decisive moments. Another important factor to consider is the psychological aspect. Facing an opponent who has historically caused difficulties or is perceived as a threat could further motivate the Lakers team to prepare and focus fully on the game. Ultimately, the Lakers are determined to advance through the play-in and continue their journey to the playoffs. Regardless of the opponent they face, their winning mentality and commitment to success could be their biggest assets at this crucial stage of the season.